on lesson 25, example 1b, we have uh, a subtraction problem here. Now I'm subtracting two rational expressions. And it's a little more challenging because I have a variable in my denominator. And I need to get a common denominator before I can actually engage in this subtraction. And so I have to think about how I, what the common denominator might be. And I want the least common multiple of 3x and 5x squared. Well, the first thing I'll notice is that there's an x here on the first denominator of the first rational expression and an x squared over here. Well, I can just multiply this by x in order to make an x squared. But I also don't have a 5 as one of my factors down here. So I'm going to multiply the bottom of this. I'm going to multiply the bottom of this rational expression with by 5x. And that would give me 15x squared. Of course, I also need to multiply the top by 5x. So really what I'm doing is I'm multiplying this first rational expression by 1. 5x divided by 5x is just 1. And I can multiply anything, including a rational expression, by 1 without changing its value. And I want to do the same thing for my second rational expression. I already have the x squared in the bottom, but all I need to do is multiply that 5x squared by 3 in order to get my 15x squared on the bottom. And if I multiply, change this into a product here, I multiply the bottom by 3, I also got to multiply the, the top by 3. Again, my second rational expression, I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by 3, which is really just multiplying by 1. So I'll carry out this uh, multiplication, uh, and I get 20x over 15x squared. And I'm going to subtract 9 over 15x squared. So now I have a common denominator, and I can just evaluate this subtraction problem pretty easily. I end up with 20x minus 9 divided by 15x squared. And there's no common factor that I can pull out of these two terms on the top. And so this is my simplest version of this difference. When I subtract these two rational expressions, I have to find a common denominator, and then I can do my subtraction, and this is the answer that I get.